National Football League Super Bowl Eight is on the air. Today, the world champion Miami Dolphins beat the NFC champion Minnesota Vikings. How you doing, everybody? This is Rick Weaver along with Henry Barrow. And Howard Cosell will be on our broadcast later on this afternoon. It is a chilly day, a little breeze. The temperature at kickoff here in Houston will be 50 degrees. We have an extremely foggy day. The lights have been turned on a long time ago. We will have, undoubtedly, a full house regardless of the weather, 72,500. The Vikings coming in with uh, playoff wins over the Washington Redskins and the Dallas Cowboys. The uh, world champion, Miami Dolphins, coming in with wins over the Cincinnati Bengals and the Oakland Raiders. Henry Barrow, our color analyst for this afternoon. How do you uh, see things before the kickoff occurs? Rick, I think this could be the most exciting Super Bowl of them all. We'll have Mercury Morris, number 22, and Jake Scott replacing Charlie Lee back as the deep man for the kickoff return. Scott wears number 13. As you recall, Jake Scott was the most viable player in last year's Super Bowl game out at Los Angeles. The Vikings had quite a win streak this year. They won all five of their preseason games. They only played five and then had a nine-game streak before they were stopped by the... Uh, the Atlanta Falcons, 20 to 14. Cox will kick off. Morris and Scott are deep down here at the south end to our right. Super Bowl eight is about to get underway. Here is the crescendo from the fans. Cox is forward, gets the kick high. It is not deep. Scott from the six. Out to the 10, the 15 to the 20, the 25. Takes the tackle to the 30. Up the sidelines to the 35 and the 38-yard line. On the far side of the field, Jake Scott is knocked off. He's beat by number 24. Terry Brown from the Vikings special team. Warfield is starting. This goes the other wide receiver. Maddox, the tight end. Greasy, the quarterback. Morris and Zonka are the running backs. The other uh, players, the lineup, both offensively and defensively are as we gave them to you. The Dolphins from their 37-yard line, moving from our right to our left toward the north end of the field. They deploy Warfield a couple of yards to the near side. Briscoe is put off the far side. The back through an eye. From the 37, here is Briscoe in motion. Back to the near side of the field. Greasy on the snap. Here's the pitch to Morris. Outside of the right. Turns the corner and is knocked out of bounds on the far side of the field at the 42-yard line. A five-yard gain for Mercury Morris. Carl Eller, number 81, over to make the stop. Morris on the season with uh, a rushing average of 6.4 for ball game. Second down and five. Dolphins from their 42-yard line. Jim Kick has come in replacing Morris. Warfield splits to the near side. Kick is a slot man to the far side, and Briscoe is split off the far side. Here is Greasy, hands to Zonka, hold the right side, and it closes in a hurry as he is brought down at about the 45-yard line. He was horse collared by Roy Winston, and uh, Zonka and Winston are old adversaries. In the ball game at Minnesota two years ago, or last year, Winston gave uh, Zonka the hardest shot he has ever had. They mark it at the 44, so the Dolphins get only a two-yard gain. That'll bring up a third down, and we'll call it three. A long free situation. Kick and Zonka remain the running back. Out of the huddle comes Miami. First, uh, the ball is at the 44-yard line with a third down and three. The Dolphins going for their first third down conversion of the afternoon. Both receivers are split off the far side. Now here comes Warfield in motion. Back to the near side of the field. From the Miami 44, Greasy drops to throw his first pass. He fires across the middle. Caught by Mandic in the Vikings territory. Back down at the Minnesota 43-yard line. Jim Mandic to tight end on a slant across the middle. And the Dolphins pick up their first first down of the ball game at the Minnesota 43-yard line. Okay, Morris is back in. He and Zonka are the running backs. Dolphins have the ball at the Minnesota 43-yard line. Warfield switched to the near side of the far side of Briscoe. The backs are split. Here's a handoff to Mercury. He slips and falls, going across the right side, and is lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Alan Page, from his defensive tackle position, number 88, makes the stop on the play. And kick comes back into the offensive backfield. No gain for the Dolphins, second down and 10. Page will get credit for that, but actually Kuchenberg had flattened him coming across, and uh, Mercury slipped. The ball at the Minnesota 43-yard line. Out of the huddle come the Dolphins, who are in the aqua jerseys this afternoon, the dark jerseys for those of you watching and listening. Briscoe switch to the far side, to the near side is Warfield. The backs are kicking Zonka. They are split in behind Gracie on second down and 10. Here's the handoff. Zonka, big hole, 40, 35, 40, down inside the 30 to the Minnesota. 57-yard line is where they're going to mark it. Paul Krause, the free safety, 
made the tackle. He went between left guard and center. A huge hole. Kutzenberg and Langer just split that middle. And uh, Mercury Morris comes back in. Uh, another first down for the Dolphins. The ball at the Minnesota 27-yard line. We have 12 minutes, 15 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Greasy keeping the ball on the ground except for one pass thus far. Ready to go to work is Bob. Walker now has carried twice in the ball game for a total of 15 yards. We see a couple of steps back. The out pattern. Frisco got it out of bounds on the far side of the field at the Minnesota 21-yard line. Nate Wright, the left cornerback, number 43, ran him out. That's a gain of some six yards on the pickup. And they will mark the ball at the Minnesota 21-yard line. Dolphins moving from our right to our left toward the north end of the field. They took the opening kickoff. Scott ran it uh, out across the 30 and Greasy has started from that particular spot. He has thrown two passes, is his two is two for two in that department, and is one for one in the third down conversion department. Second down and four for the Dolphins from the Vikings 21-yard line. Warfield splits near side, Briscoe far side. Here's the handoff, Donka hits the middle on the trap again. Straight ahead, bulldozing power, and it looks from here as if he's got the first down down to the 16-yard line. Larry Zonka who rushed for 1,003 yards, his third consecutive, third, third consecutive 1,000-yard uh, season. First down for Miami. Eller and Page, along with Larson, make the tackle on the last play. And that was just a straight-ahead muscle-against-muscle play with straight blocking from the offensive line against that basic 4-3 front of Minnesota. That was power. The Dolphins have a first down at the Minnesota 16-yard line. This guy thus far uh, has consumed about three and a half minutes, approaching four. The ball at the Vikings, 16. Warfield to the near side. Briscoe to the far side. Morrison, Zonka. Our split in behind Greasy on the snap. Here's a handoff. Counter trap. Zonka bounces off the tackle. Cuts back to his left. Bangs his way inside the 10 down to about the 8 yard line. Zonka was hit at the line of scrimmage and just kept driving. Digging back to his left and he picks up excellent yard eight down to the 8 yard line. A gain of 8 for Zonk and it'll bring up a second down and we'll call it 2. The Miami offensive line is doing so many different things and changing the blocking uh, assignments around so much. It's got to have that Minnesota defense confused as to really what's happening. Briscoe is out and in. Mandich and Fleming as the two tight ends to provide the additional blocking up front. The ball of the Minnesota eight. Second down and two for the Dolphins. Warfield sets in uh, tight as a wingman off the left side. Here's the handoff going to Mercury through the middle. Spinning, driving, and bucking his way down to about the five-yard line. That should be good enough for another Dolphins first down. The Dolphins thus far in the uh, ball game, as far as first downs are concerned, have now picked up uh, a total of four. The ball is at the Vikings' five-yard line. Jeff Seaman, Falk, uh, Krauss made the tackle on the last play. Because Minnesota is hard to run on uh, this close into the goal line, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Bob Greasy went with the pass. This drive now has consumed over five minutes. We have nine minutes, 49 seconds to go in the first quarter. First and goal for the Dolphins at the Vikings' five-yard line. Morris and Zonka are the splitbacks. The two tight ends remain up front. Now here comes uh, Warfield in motion back to the near side of the field. Hand off. Big hole, seven one Provided the blocking over the right side and Zonka carrying people with him. He had a huge hole just blasted in from the five-yard line. Jeff Seaman and Paul Krauss were given the free ride. And uh, Yepremian is in now to try the points from placement. That drive consumed almost five and a half minutes as we have 9.33 left to play in the first quarter. Morrow will hold. Yepremian tries the point from placement. Waiting for the snappers Earl. Here it is. Set down. The kick is up. And it is good. Dolphin football action continues from Super Bowl eight with a score, Miami 7, Minnesota nothing. Rick Weaver with Henry Barrow back at Rice Stadium in Houston, the site of Super Bowl eight, a 62-yard drive and nine plays, which consumed almost five and a half minutes. And the Dolphins, with Zonka scoring from five yards out, now lead 7 to nothing. Your premium will kick off deep off to the far side is the John Gilliam, number 42, and down the near side, number 40, Charlie West. Here's Garrow's kickoff. It is high. It will be run back at the goal line. Is West out straight ahead to the 5, the 10. He tries to hurdle a tackler and is nailed at the 13, maybe the 14-yard line. 
That's because Ed Newman in one block took out two and a half men in the wedge. Ed Newman is so fired up for this game. <laughs> <laughs> the ball at the Vikings 14, a return of 14 yards. Now, set the Vikings for you. Their offense uh, has, of course, Fran Tuckett in number 10 at the quarterback. The running back will be Foreman, number 44. And Oscar Reed, number 32. The uh, tight end is 83, Stuvoit. The wide receivers are Carol Dale, 84. And to the uh, near side, John Gilliam, 42. And they are both deployed to the near side of the field. Tuckett in from his 14. Hands off to Foreman. Hits the middle, spinning, driving, bucking his way across the 15. Gets out to about the 19-yard line. Vern Genherter, the Dolphins' left defensive end, makes the tackle after a five-yard game. Interior-wise for the Vikings, Alderman and Yerry are the tackles. White and Gallagher are the guards. Tinglehoff is the center. Bob Matheson has now gone in on the Dolphins' prevent defense. And they put the extra tight end in. The uh, Vikings do. That is Doug King's rider, number 89. We'll give you the Dolphins' defensive alignment in just a moment. A second down and five for the Vikings from their 19. Waiting for the snap for Sarkenton. The backs remain the same. Hand off to Foreman. Tries to go inside. Hey, I get knocked flat. Like a state fair pumpkin. Back at the 18-yard line, Fernandez and Captain Crunch is the guy who really put the clincher on him, Mike Cullen. And they say that his forward progress did get back to the line of scrimmage, so it'll bring up a second down, a check it, third down and uh, about five from the uh, Vikings' 19-yard line. Defensively for the Dolphins, Denherter, Fernandez, Hines, and Stanfield normally. Matheson, however, is in there now. And Cullen, along with Swift, Mumford, Johnson, Scott, and Anderson. You had to expect Tarkington to try to run against the first look at the 53. Kingswriter and Gilliam are the uh, wide men to the near side of the field. Third and five. Fran back to throw his first pass. He throws it out of the backfield. Foreman grabs the ball at the 16. A loser tackler. Gets out across the 20. And that is not enough for a first down as he knocked off his feet at the 23. At least it would not appear to be so from our vantage point. Uh, Lloyd Mumford on the stop, and let's see whether they're going to uh, unpile and mark the football. They had to get it out to about the 24. That is not going to be enough for a first down, a yard shy, and that'll bring in the punting unit. So the Dolphins' no name defense holds on the first offensive sequence for the Vikings. A very smart move by Dick Anderson, who saw when Foreman went down. He went down and just fell on the ground in front of him, so Foreman couldn't slide forward that extra yardage needed for the first down. Mike Eyshide with a 39.8 average. Number 11 is the putter. The line of scrimmage is the 23, and back at the 8 is Eyshide. Scott is deep, and Anderson the shallow man to feel the putt. Here's the snap. A little bit high, gets the rush. He gets it out of there and booms a low trajectory spiral. Scott will grab it on the run. His hip tumbles the ball. It's loose at the Dolphins' 44, and Miami recovers. Holy Toledo, what a break that would have been for Minnesota. Scott tried to run with the football before he had his hands on it. He was he was rappy tack and uh, Scott came up with it. Dick Anderson, his blocking protection out in front, was knocked uh, on his rear end, so Scott had to fight to get the ball back. And we get a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from Super Bowl eight with a score of Miami 7, the Vikings nothing. Seven minutes and eight seconds left to play in the first quarter. The Dolphins lead 7 to nothing on a 62-yard drive and nine plays. There's just a uh, recovered fumble of a uh, attempted kick return by Jake Scott. He recovered his own fumble, a 34-yard punt. The Dolphins start from their own 44. Here's a handoff for us to lose a blitz in the backfield. Trying to come to the near side, turns the corner, 45, and it's nailed at the uh, 49-yard line in Dolphins territory. Paul Krauss is the guy who got him. It appeared to be a blitz, it actually was, but uh, the terminology is that the right side defensive end, Jim Marshall, came booming through there and missed him in the backfield. Morris actually stiff-armed Marshall and fought him off. So the ball is at the 49 as Merck picks up five and bring up second down and five. Morris and Zaka remain the uh, running backs. The ball at the Miami 49-yard line. Briscoe switched to the far side. Warfield on the near side. The backs, Zonka and Morris are in an eye behind Greasy. 6.25 to go in the first quarter. Dolphins lead 7-0. Greasy with a long count at the line of scrimmage. On the snap, a couple of steps back, fires out of the uh, backfield to uh, Mandich on the far side. He's out of bounds uh, inside the 45, down to the 44-yard line in Vikings territory. Roy Winston, the left linebacker, is the fellow who knocked him out. Greasy is going from one side to the other and has uh, completed one in the middle to Mandich. First down for Miami at the Vikings 44. For the uh, Dolphins, as far as the first downs are concerned, they now have a total of five in the ball game. And they have this first down at the Vikings 44-yard line. Briscoe switched to the far side, Warfield on the near side. Morris and Zaka this time are split off behind Greasy. Dolphins again moving from our right to our left toward the north end of the field. 
Ricci on the snap, hands to Morris, finds a hole, gets through across the 40 down to the 39. The Dolphins' front line, Henry, is just blocking people up into the nickel seats. Winston and Seaman made the tackle on that last play. And also, uh, Larry Zonka came up and was an extra pulling guard on that. Zonka threw a beautiful block on that play. Jim Kick comes in, replaces Morris, and uh, Kick and uh, Zonka are the running backs. The ball is at the Viking 39, where it'll be at second down and five. We're inside the six-minute mark with five minutes and 45 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And to say it's been all Dolphins so far would be putting it mildly. Kick and Zaka, the split back behind Greasy. Hand off to Zaka. Oh, right side. Moves his way across the 35, down to about the 32-yard line. Zaka, what a ball game he has had thus far in this contest. He scored the only touchdown and is running behind. Beautiful blocking. His buddy Jim Kick assisted on that play. Marshall and Krause coming up to make the tackle. And they mark it at the 32. That is good for another Miami first down. At the Vikings 32-yard line, and the, Dolph the Dolphins thus far running up some awesome statistics. Zock has carried five times for 35. Morris five for 16. Greasy has put the ball up... Uh, put the ball up a total of how many times? At three. Here's the handoff. Going to kick, and he's going to go no place as they were waiting for him that time. Alan Page. The right side defensive tackle, number 88, came booming through there and flattened him out. They mark it as a big roar goes up in the Vikings crowd across the way, back at the Minnesota 34-yard line. Mandich uh, is limping, incidentally. And we have a second down at 13 following that loss. The ball at the Minnesota 34-yard line. Briscoe out of the huddle, breaks to the far side, Warfield on the near side. Greasy has put the ball up three times for a total of 12 yards. The ball at the 34, somebody jumps, gets back, here's a handoff, counter trap, knock a big hole, 30, down to the 25, still going, inside the 25 and knocked down at the 22 yard line. Here's Larry Zonking, Zonka on the counter over the right side. Krause and Wright made the tackle on the play, that's Nate Wright. Now Mark Fleming is coming in to the Dolphins offensive alignment and it's going to bring up, uh, as they bring the chains in a measurement, if they don't make it, it'll be third down and extremely short yardage at the Vikings 22-yard line. And it does not appear from here as if they have it. But we could be wrong. We'll wait for uh, the referee to set the ball. They just appear from here to have missed it by inches. Not very far. And they've, it's a gain of 12 for Zonka. It'll be third down, and we'll call it less than a yard at the Vikings 22. As a matter of fact, if there was a drop of water on the ball, I think it would be a first down. So the Dolphins have both tight ends in now. Mandich and Fleming. Third down, less than a yard, and now here comes Mercury Morris racing in to replace uh, Jim Kick, the Dolphins' offensive backfield. The Dolphins have picked up a total of seven first downs, two by passing, five by rushing. Zonka has carried six times unofficially for 47 yards. The ball at the Minnesota 22, third down, and less than a yard on third down conversions. Thus far today, Greasy is one for one. The backs are in an eye. Here's the handoff. Drunk a quick trap, a hole. He's got the first down inside the 15, down to the 14 yard line. Dunka with the quick trap, and that's one of the plays on which he scored against Oakland. Briscoe comes back in, and Fleming comes out now. Jeff Wright and Krause, the two safeties, made the tackle. And that time, Minnesota's defense did a little something different. They lined a man up over center, Jim Langer, but it didn't do him any good because Langer blew him out. They are having a rough time defending this Miami offense. We have three minutes, eight seconds to go in the first quarter. The Dolphins lead 7-0, have a first down at the Vikings 14. The Dolphins have completely controlled this football game so far. Briscoe splits far side, Warfield on the near side. Morris and Zonka are split in behind Greasy. Bob, up under center on the snap, a couple of steps back, looking across the middle, fires, and it's caught by Briscoe. He's knocked down at the one-yard line. The Dolphins will have a first and goal at the one. It's ran over the middle, a great catch by Briscoe, and the Dolphins have a first and goal at the one-yard line. Let's pause here for station identification on the Miami Dolphins football network. Super Bowl eight. See it, read it, feel it like you were there. All the action, shot in color, plus pages and pages of Super Bowl coverage in tomorrow's Miami News. WIOD Miami. Gracie now has completed four passes. Maddox and Fleming are in. Briscoe making the great catch at the one. First and goal for Miami at the one-yard line. The backs are Kick and Zonka, both split. 
In behind Gracie, down here at the north end. Here's a handoff to kick. He hurdles the right side. He has stacked up at the goal line, and there is no indication from the officials that he got into the end zone. He was really hit at the uh, right at the goal line. He did not make it. He put it at the one-foot line. So that'll bring up the second down and goal for the Dolphins from the one-foot line with a minute and 49 seconds left to play in this first quarter. Kick has not scored a touchdown all year. Eller and Larson get credit on that last tackle, and uh, I'm sure... The rest, the rest of this Dolphin offensive unit want to give uh, the ball to kick this afternoon, at least get him on the scoreboard once this season. If he scores a touchdown now, it'll be his second of the day. He was in. All right, ready to go to work. Here is uh, Warfield in motion, back to the near side. Hand off the kick. He pounds into the middle. Did he make it? Touchdown, Miami. Jim Kick behind Zaka. So Jim Kick gets his first TD of the season. And Zaka, you saw him just stick his nose in there ahead of his buddy, and... Uh, he didn't get the ball very far in, but anytime you get it right over the plane of the goal line, that's in the end zone. Moore, Kuchenberg, Langer, Little, all helped to open what hole there was. So the Dolphins now with a minute 22 to go in the first quarter, now moved out to a 13 to nothing lead. Jim Kick scores from uh, one yard out. Your premium can make it 14 as Morrow is in the hole. Waiting for the snap is Earl. Here it is, set down, the kick is up, and it is good. Dolphin football action continues from the site of Super Bowl VIII with a score of Miami 14, Minnesota nothing. Rick Weaver back at Super Bowl VIII. Zonka's carried eight times, 64 yards. He and Kick have scored the two touchdowns. That last drive, 56 yards, 10 plays. Kick from one yard out. The Dolphins have had the football over 11 minutes, uh, almost 12 minutes in this first quarter. And the Vikings have had it for only one offensive sequence. Here's Garrow's kick. It is not deep at all. It'll be grabbed by West at the 5, out to the far side of the 10, the 15, to the 20, turns the corner, and he is written out of bounds. There's a flag down at the 21. A flag dropped at about the 21-yard line. He was belted out of bounds on the far side of the field at about the 25 by Ed Newman. And I think Charlie Babb was clipped. The officials are conferring with the Vikings and also the uh, Dolphins, Lloyd Mumford, and they're going to call holding, I believe, on... Uh, on Minnesota, they haven't been able to do too much right in this ball game. That's what it is. Holding on the kickoff return against the Vikings. The Vikings have the dubious distinction coming into the ball game as being the most penalized team in the NFL. We have a minute and 13 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Carol Dale is at one wide receiver. John Gilliam at the other. Oscar Reed and Chuck Foreman will be the running backs. Talking in, of course, the quarterback. The tight end is Stu Voigt. A uh, penalty marks the ball back at the 11-yard line. So the Vikings having trouble moving in this first quarter. Had to punt the first time uh, that they had their hands on the ball. Do not have a first down in the ball game. Tarkenton is uh, one for one for four yards in passing. And Foreman has five yards on the ground. That's all the offense they've been able to muster in the first quarter. Here's Tarkenton. Play fake. Rolls out to his right. Looks up the near side. Fires the pass. And to Tark to uh, Foreman. And he's knocked down and out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Chuck Foreman picks up five. Dolphins uh, defense not giving up uh, anything. On the ground or through the air thus far. The short out to the uh, sideline is the only pattern that Tuckenden has hit on. And Foreman, uh, in the times he's had the ball today, is running rather timidly for the type of runner he normally is. Dale is out, and Kingsrider, the big rookie uh, who goes at a tight end or a wide receiver, has come in. We have a minute and six seconds to go in the first quarter. Dolphins lead 14-0. Matheson in on the free defense front for Miami. The ball is out at the 16 in Vikings territory. A second down and five. Tuckenden ready to go to work. Here's the handoff, Reed to the sweep to the left side. He is caught by Manny Fernandez and dragged to the ground. At the 17-yard line after a gain of only a yard. Fernandez, who many people thought, including yours truly, should have been given the most viable player award of last Super Bowl game. And Jake Scott, uh, the man who teamed up on the tackle that time. The ball is at the Minnesota 17, a gain of only a yard. It'll bring up a third down and three. Clock moving with 42 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Minnesota has not achieved a first down. They have not been able to move the ball across the... Uh, their own 30-yard line. Tarkenton brings his ball club out. And uh, Kings Rider is set in tight off the near side. Here comes Foreman in motion to the near side of the field. On third down, Francis moves to his right, fires. It is caught by Kings Rider and he tackles, but not before he picks up a first down out to the 26-yard line. Maybe the 27th. Kings Rider, the big rookie from uh, Minnesota, from the University of Minnesota, who plays either tight end or wide receiver, gets the first first down of the day. Dick Anderson, Nick Bonacotti. Makes the tackle. Tarkenden out of a scramble situation that time was sprinting to the near side of the field. Lost to the ball for Kings Rider, and he caught it. They mark it at the Minnesota 27. 
That's the end of the first quarter. Golf and action continues from the site of Super Bowl eight with a score of Miami 14, Minnesota nothing. The Dolphins 14 points in the first quarter ties the Super Bowl record for the most points uh, ever scored in the first period of a Super Bowl game. Green Bay uh, also had 14. In one of the early Super Bowls, time of possession. In the uh, first quarter of the game, Miami had the ball 11 minutes, 13 seconds. Minnesota only 347. And the Vikings have just achieved, right at the end of the first quarter, their first first down of the ball game on a talking in the Kings Rider pass. And Minnesota now moving from our right to our left, have the first down at their 27. Kings Rider and Gilliam are the wide receivers talking in the quarterback. Gilliam splits off the far side. And they set actually uh, Foreman and Reed as the split backs in behind Tarkenton. First down, Minnesota from their 27-yard line. On the snap, here's the handoff. Foreman, a hole on the right side, squirts through across the 30 and gets out to about the 32-yard line. A gain of five. Bob Matheson on the Dolphins' free band defense, number 53, makes the stop on the play. It'll bring up a second down and five. We've just started the second quarter. Gilliam splits off the far side. Kings Rider set in tight off the near side. From the 32, here's the handoff. Reed finds a small opening and is cracked and knocked down at the uh, Vikings 35. Maybe out to the 36. Bob Matheson, along with Vern Denherter, makes the tackle. Manny Fernandez also went on the stop. We'll call it the 36. That's a yard shy of what they need for a first down. The ball at the Minnesota 36. Third down and one. Arkenton on the snap. Hands to Reed. Hurdles the late side. He may not have made it. It's going to be very close. At the 37, he was stacked up right there by green shirts. And we're going to have to wait and see until they on pile. Now, uh, referee Ben Dreit said, uh, says we're going to get a measurement. And it uh, does not appear from here that they did make it. And Al, you are absolutely correct. A long, long foot. And so for the second time early in the ball game, the Dolphins defense holds. And the Vikings will have to give it up, punting from their 36-yard line. And Mike Eichheide comes in to handle punting chores, number 11. Eyeshide stands at the 21. Here's the snap. Not much of a rush. He gets off a high spiral kick. There will be a run back. Scott grabs it to go up at 22. Looks for a hole. Cuts for the far side. Now up the middle is hit and drop at the 29-yard line. A seven-yard return by Jake Scott. And the man who was down first to medium, medium is <laughs> Rick Tinglehoff. There was a rookie trying to make this ball club. He's only been here some 11 years. One of the great free agent stories. And we're going to get a timeout for... Uh, both teams to rest, so we'll take it too. Dolphin football continues from Super Bowl eight with a score, Miami 14, the Vikings nothing. That punt by Eyeshide, 42 yards. Scott returned at seven. Dolphins start from their 29, moving from our left to our right. Back in motion to the near side is Marlon Briscoe. On the snap, here is the pitch to Mercury Morris. Sweep to the near side, cut back to his left. Hurdles the tackle, 30, 35, 40, and he's run out of bounds. Up across the 40 at the Dolphins 42-yard line. Mercury Morris, rambling for a big yard. He's run out by Jeff Wright, the strong safety. And Merck picks up 13 yards and another Dolphin first down out of the Miami 42-yard line. Let's pause for station identification on the Miami Dolphins football network. Remember, for the best-tasting hot dogs around, it's Durr's Gold Seal Dinner Franks. Buy them at your favorite store. They're durr-licious. This is WIOD Miami. They mark it at the Dolphins 43. Merck picks up 14. A first down for Miami. Dolphins moving at will against this Minnesota defense. Here's the handoff. Zonka starts inside, cuts outside to his left, turns the corner to the far side, gets to the 45, and it's knocked down right there at about the 45-yard line, a gain of some two yards. Jim Marshall and Wally Hilgenberg from the Vikings' right side make the tackle. The ball of the Miami 45, a second down and eight, 12-25 to go in the first half. The Dolphins leading 14-0. Drive to 56 and 62 yards. Zonka scoring from five yards out, kick from one yard out, but Miami leads 14 to zip. From the Dolphins' 45-yard line, second down and eight. Reese drops back to throw his fifth pass. He's being pursued. He is back. Back at the 32-yard line. And coming through there to get him. A big roar for the uh, Viking fans across the way. Alan Page and somebody missed the block on him. They mark it back at the 34-yard line in Dolphins' territory. So Greasy loses 10, and that'll bring up a third down at 18. And you don't see that very often because the Dolphins lead the league this year in passer protection. 13 sacks against Greasy and Morrow all season long, and only one in the playoffs. All right, the ball is back at the Miami 34-yard line at the third down at 18. Greasy thus far on third down conversions has been two for two this afternoon. Briscoe wide to the near side. Warfield, who has not been thrown to, is wide to the far side. From the Miami 34, 
Receipt for the deep drop. Sets up the throw. He is firing deep up the near side. Briscoe is down. He's got his man beat. And he's hit. And the ball is knocked away. Incomplete at the 25. Covering on the play for Minnesota was Paul Klaus. But Carl Eller just flattened out Greasy. So the ball was perfectly thrown, but a great defensive play by the Minnesota secondary. And so to bring up a fourth down, and for the first time, Larry Seiple comes in to punt. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Seiple gets a pretty good rush, gets it out of there, and gets off a low trajectory spiral. Fair catch is called for and made by Bryant back at the Minnesota 27-yard line. 27-yard line is where the Vikings will start from. And that punt of 38 yards by Larry Seiple. So the Minnesota defense, for the first time, has come to life in this ball game, Henry. And we get a timeout uh, with Dolphin football continuing from Super Bowl eight with a score of Miami 14, Minnesota nothing. All right, this is Rick Weaver with Henry Barrow back at Super Bowl eight in Houston. I think, of course, it becomes imperative for the Vikings to get something going on this particular drive. They've, their defense has given them ball, the ball in good field position, and they have to do something this time if they're going to stay in the ball game. They have the ball up there, 27, moving from our right to our left. Kingsrider is in there, and he and Gilliam are the wide men. Tarkenton with uh, Reed and Foreman ready to go to work. Here's the handoff to Foreman. Sweep to the right side, cuts back to his left, and he gets three yards. Out to about the 30-yard line, and that's all. The Vikings trailing 14 to nothing. Tim Foley has come in, and now we're for the first time we're seeing the Dolphins with the four defensive backs in there. The ball out to the 30 in Vikings territory. A second down and seven. Exactly 11 minutes to play in the first half. Both receivers, a slot formation, actually to the near side. Gilliam is the wide man. Tarkenton drops back to throw. Now he's going to have to sprint out of there. He's in trouble, and he's caught and dropped for Big loss back inside the 20. Den Herter and Fernandez hand fuck the blocking and just rode him to the turf. Let's see who they mark it back at the 20-yard line. So Tarkenden is sacked for the first time this afternoon. The Dolphins were the best, uh, second best pass rush in the NFL this year behind only uh, Washington. Got their first sack of the afternoon. The ball is marked down back at the 20-yard line and that'll bring up a third down at 18. Uh, Tim Foley came in, and uh, Lloyd Mumford came out and has been talking on the phones upstairs. Uh, I don't know if they're going to leave Tim in and uh, have Mumford out, or if they're just telling him something. All right, the ball is at the Minnesota 20. A third down at 18. An obvious passing situation here for Tarkin, and he drops back to throw, sets up. Now he's going to have to sprint out. He is at the 15, fires up the far side. It is caught by King's letter, and it is out of bounds. Incomplete. The official right on top of the play, a fine call. He's going to be roundly booed, however, from the far side where the Viking fans sit. Up at the 38, talking then out of a uh, typical Francis Albert situation, scrambling. Spotted King's rider open, but he was out of bounds when he caught the football, so it's an incomplete pass. Highside comes in. The line of scrimmage will be the 20, and he'll stand back about the five-yard line. The uh, Minnesota penetration this afternoon has not been uh, great at all. Uh, Scott is back as the uh, deep man. Anderson is the shallow man. And Eyeshide will kick from the five. Here it is. He gets off a nice high spiral, giving the coverage a chance to get down. Scott, fair catches the ball for Miami back at the Dolphin 34-yard line. So that's where uh, the Dolphins will start from. Actually, they put it down at the 35. A 45-yard kick by Mike Eyeshide. We have 10 minutes and three seconds left to play in the first half of action. All right, ready to go to work is Greasy. He's got Morris as a slot man to the left. Warfield is wide to the left. Briscoe to the near side. Donkey in behind him. Dolphins from their 35-yard line. Greasy with a long cut. Briscoe in motion back to the near side. Here's the pitch to Zonka. Starts outside of the right. Cuts back to his left and booms his way out to the 36. Gain of only a yard. As Zonka, the principal ball carrier for the Dolphins, is brought down by uh, Winston and Eller. And there is a flag on the play. It was thrown after the play, Rick. Uh, I, I really didn't see what happened. We'll check it out. A line of scrimmage uh, will be the 36. We're going to get a personal foul called against uh, Minnesota. So the Vikings coming in with the, uh, as we remarked earlier, the dubious distinction of being the most penalized team in the NFL have drawn their second major for this afternoon. And this uh, infraction will give the Dolphins a field position at the Minnesota 49. That one was called for hitting after the whistle. 
against Minnesota. 9.55 left to play in the first half. The Dolphins have a first down at the Minnesota 49-yard line. Ready to go to work is Greasy with uh, Morris and Zonka, the I-backs. Bob drops the throw, looking for the left side. It is caught by Warfield, his first reception. He is blasted out of bounds, but holds out of the ball. At the 43 in Vikings territory, a six-yard pickup. Morris and Zonka remain the backs. A second down and four for the Dolphins at the Minnesota 43-yard line. 9.49 left to go in this first half. Dolphins lead 14 to nothing. Here's the handoff. Zonka finds a hole, and it closes in a hurry as he meets his old friend, uh, from the left side, Roy Winston, Jeff Seaman, who actually was the first man, the middle linebacker, to make the tackle at the 40-yard line. They mark it at the 40-yard line. A gain of some three yards. It'll bring up a third down, and uh, we'll call it just about a yard. Dolphins have just shoved the Vikings all over the field thus far. They have made some adjustments here in the second quarter on defense. But Miami has been in control. A third down and one from the 40. Handoff to Mercury. Finds a hole through the middle. Down to the 35. Down to the 30. Dragging people with him goes Mercury Morris. Paul Faust. The free safety is the man who finally dragged him down, but not before the Dolphins pick up. A first down with great blocking up front again. Fleming is out. Briscoe is back in. The offensive alignment. Morris now has carried the ball unofficially. Seven times, 40 yards. Zonka, 10 times, 61 yards. Greasy has put it up six times and has completed five for 48 yards. The ball at the Viking 30. Warfield, who's caught one this afternoon, splits off the far side. Briscoe to the near side. Zonka and Morris to split backs. First down, Dolphins at the Vikings 30-yard line. Waiting for the snap as Bob hands off to Zonk. Starts outside of the right. Cuts back to his left. Bounces off a tackle. Still going to the 25. Down to the 21-yard line. Boom, Larry Zonka. You've got to hit this guy low, and you've got to hit him early, or he's going to just run over people. Faust is the man who made the tackle. Talking about running over people, uh, Norm Evans just buried Carl Eller on that play. Buried him. That's quite a battle going on out there. Eller uh, got in there once this afternoon, and uh, Alan Page uh, beat Kuchenberg once, but normally... Evans and Cooch have control, along with the rest of the Dolphin offensive line, have controlled that line of scrimmage. Seven minutes, 48 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Or the first half, rather. Uh, the Dolphins have a second down and a yard. The ball at the 21-yard line in Vikings territory. Greasy sets his ball club, ready to go to work. He hands off. Duck up, pounds the middle, and he's going to be stacked up right there at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. That'll bring up a third down and a yard at the 21. Jeff Seaman, the middle linebacker, makes the tackle. Seven minutes, ten seconds left to go in the first half. Dolphins lead 14-0, a third down and one. The ball at the Minnesota 21-yard line. Let's see what they come up with this time. Mandich and Fleming are both up front. Warfield is split off wider than usual here to the near side of the field. Kick and Zonka, the eye backs. Hand off the trap again. Zonka pounds the middle. Gets to the 20, and that's going to be very close to a first down. It may or it may not be. And we may get a measurement. Garrow, by the same token, may get a shot at his first field goal. And that's what it's going to be. They did not make it shy of the 20-yard line. They missed it by a foot or so. So, uh, Garrow comes in. And uh, if he can keep from passing the ball, uh, he's in excellent field position here to try uh, to get three more points on the board. The Vikings defense stopped the Dolphins' attack, and Yepemian will try a 28-yard field goal down here at the south end. Two out right, and will hold. Garrow on the season, 25 out of 37, two out of two in the playoffs. 28-yarder, waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down, the kick is up. He's got the distance, it's good! Garrow Yepemian converts a 28-yard field goal with six minutes and two seconds. Left to play in the first half of action. The Dolphins lead by a score of 17 to nothing. We'll pause here for station identification on the Miami Dolphins football ne network. Ever have that big smoky sandwich served at the Orange Bowl? That rich, smoked, delicious sausage is now available at your grocer's. Durr's Gold Seal Meats Big Smoky Sausage. This is WIOD Miami. Rick Weaver back at the uh, Super Bowl in Houston. Four minutes and one second on that last drive. In time cons consumption for the Dolphins. Yopremian kicks a 28-yard field goal, and Miami has now moved out to a 17-0 lead. This game thus far is even more lopsided than the one against Washington last year in favor of the Dolphins. And uh, as you know, the only way that uh, Washington could score last year was on that... Uh, 
fumble recovery, which the NFL calls it. Everybody else calls it, call it a pass interception. Miami now has accumulated uh, 153 yards total offense to the Vikings 27. And the deepest penetration for Minnesota in the first half has been through their own 36-yard line. That's how, de uh, that's how great the no-name defense has been. That last drive in which Garrow kicked a 28-yard field goal. All right, your premier will kick off. Here's the kick, low trajectory scribber. It'll bounce and go over the head of the uh, of John Gilliam, who's trying to come up and make a shoestring catch on it, and wisely let it go into the end zone. It's a touchback, and the Vikings will try to get something started from their own 20-yard line. Ready to go to work is talking in from his 20-yard line, waiting for the snap. Here's the handoff, Foreman sweep to the right, cuts back to his left, and he is nailed at the 22, a gain of only two yards on the play for the NFL's Rookie of the Year, Doug Swift. And Nick Bodicani make the tackle on the play for Miami. Second down at eight for the Vikings from their 22. Back to throw is Tarkenton. Has time. He sets up, fires across the middle. It's overthrown and complete. And almost could have been intercepted. Chuck Foreman was the man for whom the pass was intended. It was off his fingertips a little bit high. And the Dolphins' zone coverage was, again, up to the task. We have 5-16 to play in the half. Vikings, who cannot get on track, have a third down at eight from their 22. Dolphins lead 17 to nothing. Waiting for the snap is Tarkenton. He drops back to throw. He sets up, fires across the middle. It is, did he trap it or catch it? King's Rider at the 35, out to the 39. Check it, Stu Voigt. Stu Voigt. And uh, apparently he caught the ball. Made a uh, tremendous catch. Stu Voigt, number 83, who normally is the starting tight end, caught the ball and gets out to the 39. He was on the ground when he caught it. It was hard from our vantage point to tell whether he had trapped it or caught it. Well, we see what Tim Foley's assignment was. It was to go for Fran Tarkington. He didn't quite get there, though. This is now a first down for the Vikings, which is uh, only their second of the ball game, and this is their deepest penetration of this uh, contest out to their 39. Here's Tarkenton, play faking. He dumps one off out of the backfield. Reed can't hold it, incomplete out at the 40. Stanfield was applying good pressure from his near side, the right side defensive end. On second down and 10 for Minnesota, the ball up there at 39. This is as far as they've been able to get the ball upfield against the Dolphins' no-name defense. Moving from our right to our left with 4.30 left to go in the half. Tarkenton ready to go to work. Waits for the snap. Here's the handoff to Foreman. He is caught in the backfield and is tackled for what could have been a loss, but he uh, wrestled out of it and gets back out to the 40-yard line for a gain of a yard. Den Herter had him, along with Doug Swift, and he's uh, he just fought off the tacklers and fell forward for a yard. The Vikings have the ball at their 40, a third down and nine. From the Vikings, 40, a third and nine for Minnesota. Tuckingman with a deep drop, sets up, fires across the middle. It is caught. Inside Miami territory, the ball is fumbled, but the play has been blown, blown dead at the Minnesota 46-yard line. Stu Boyd comes up with another great reception off the tight end spot, and he was hit. Jake Scott going for the interception. They roll after the fumble that the play has been blown dead there. It's a completed pass, 16 yards from Tarkin into Boyd. So uh, Rand comes up with a third down conversion and gets the first down for the first time in the Miami territory at the Dolphins 46. The ball at the Miami 46-yard line. Clock moving with 3.10 left to play in the first half. In motion to the near side comes Oscar Reeve. Here's Tarkenton. Flips it out to Gilliam on the near side. He's going to be caught. Cuts back to his left. Is at the 45, the 44, and might fall forward to the 43, and that's all. The ball is at the 43 in Miami territory, second and seven. Dolphins lead, 17 zip. 2.30 left to play in the first half. Second and seven. Vikings from the Dolphins, 43. Foreman goes in motion to the far side of the field. A fumble by Tarkenton, and he's going to have to eat the ball right uh, at the 45. A loss of two. Bad exchange on the snap. Den Herter is the man who flattened him out. Right there. So that brings up a third down, and uh, they mark the ball back at the Miami 45, make it nine yards to go for a first down. And there is the two-minute warning. Dolphin football continues from Super Bowl eight with a score of Miami 17, Minnesota nothing. Rick Weaver and Henry Barrow back at Super Bowl eight here in Houston, Texas. It's still foggy but it's very bright for all Dolphin fans. Minnesota's deepest penetration to the Dolphin 43. Now they find themselves with a third down and nine at the Miami 45. Gilliam splits to the near side. The backs are Foreman and Reed. Tarkenton drops back to throw. Good protection. Sets up. He is firing deep across the middle. Gilliam has got it. At the 18, cuts to the far side. He is caught by Curtis Johnson and knocked down at the Miami 15-yard line. 
A deep pattern over the middle, a deep post was with John Gilliam, the prime receiver for the Vikings, and the Viking fans finally have something to cheer about. This afternoon, Tarkenton completes the pass to uh, Gilliam, and there is a timeout taken by the Vikings. That will give them two left, and the ball is down to the uh, Miami 15-yard line. So he comes up with a 30-yard pass completion, and Curtis Johnson is the man who saved the day. A minute and 46 seconds. Left to play in this first half. The Dolphins out in front, 17 to nothing. But uh, the uh, Tarkington the, uh, and Led Vikings have their first serious cut of the day. Here's Tarkington carrying the ball. Delivered play fake over the straight side of the pin. And it's back at the eight-yard line. Tarkington carries the football as he plants over the right side on a quarterback sweep. And gets to the eight. A pickup for seven. Nick Bonacani, the middle linebacker, makes the stop. The Vikings now have fired up. The Dolphins have contained him pretty well. But that's a long pass completion over the middle. Uh, to Gilliam has given them a uh, second down and two for a first down, eight, seven yards to go for a score. Here's the handoff, Reed to the right side. He's going to go no place. He has stacked up. Minnesota immediately calls a timeout, uses up their second timeout. Bob Matheson makes the tackle. The ball is at the eight. It's a loss of a yard, a third down and three for a first down, eight yards to go for a touchdown. Talking it. Marks the signals, ready to go to work, hands off to Reed, pounds the middle, and he gets to the six, and that's all. That might, however, be enough for a first down. They did not make it. Now they're not going to bring the chains in. They did not make it by a good long foot. Maybe more than that, two feet. It's fourth down. What do you do here? Stu Voigt, Charlie Goodrum are in for the blocking up front. They almost have to go for it with 45 seconds to go in the half, trailing 17-0. The ball at the Dolphins, six, fourth down, and less than a yard for a first down. Everybody set in tight. Sarkadin on the snap. Hands to Reed over the right side. He didn't make I don't think. He is hit and really cracked. At the six, Nick Bonacani put the stop on him. And the Dolphins take over as the Vikings fail to get a first down. And there's going to be question about that. Maybe they should have gone for the field goal. This early in the ball game. But they missed it by uh, maybe a half a foot or so. So the Dolphins hold down at the five and take over. As Reed is really cut in half by Nick Bonacani on the tackle and the Dolphins take over from their five-yard line. Just great defense and the Dolphins' no names preserve a 17 to nothing lead with 30 seconds left to play in the first half. That 75-yard drive stopped and it took them uh, some nine plays. And there's going to be conjecture undoubtedly whether or not they should have gone for the field goal. Mandy Chen, the Fleming are in to assist the blocking. Morris and Zonka. Now the running backs, Greasy from the Dolphin five, hands off to Zonk, just puts his head down and uh, gets the middle, gets out to about the seven. Just running out the clock. Minnesota has only one timeout left in the first half. 20 seconds, 19. Carl Eller, Gary Larson in on that last tackle. 14 seconds, clock continuing to move. They will not get another up now. Minnesota uses up their last timeout to stop the clock with 12 seconds to go. The ball is marked at the five, so Zonka didn't get any yardage that time. Zonka unofficially in the first half has carried uh, 13 times, 70 yards. Morris, seven carries, 40 yards. Greasy has put the football up uh, a total of six times, has completed five for unofficially 48 yards. All right, ready to go to work with 12 seconds to play in the half as Greasy and the Dolphins just run out the clock here. This will be the last play of the half. Zonka again just falls forward, gets out to about the six-yard line, and that's going to be the last play of the half. Vikings are out of the timeout, and the clock moving one second to go. That's the end of the first half. What's the score? The Dolphins 17, the Vikings nothing. Gilliam and West are back deep down at the south end to receive your premier's kickoff. It is grabbed by Gilliam. Out across the 5, the 10, the 15, the 20. Somebody better get him. At the 30, a flag goes down. It's going to be called back. He's at the 40 in Dolphins territory and run out at the 35. But there's a flag down back at the 22-yard line. And the special teams normally uh, covering like a blanket. Broke down that time, but it's going to be called back, and Minnesota is detected slipping. John Nottingham finally ran him out, and he found a big hole through the wedge, and that's exactly what Minnesota needed to get him back into the ball game. But as it turns out, they make a mistake. A clip is uh, recorded. Nottingham gets the tackle as Gilliam almost took it. So the clipping call will set it back to the 11-yard line, and normally he would have been out of bounds at the uh, Dolphins 35. 
Gilliam and Carol Dale will be the wide receivers. Chuck Foreman, Oscar Reed, the running back, talking to the quarterback. The Vikings get their third penalty of the ball game, and it could not come at a worse time as far as they are concerned because they had one of their better field positions to open this uh, third quarter, and had that, uh, not, that one been called back, they could have conceivably gotten in and had great momentum for the remainder of this second half. Let's see what Tarkin can, can do now. Here's the handoff. Foreman starts outside of the right, cuts back to his left, and is knocked down at the 13-yard line. Chuck Foreman, the ball carrier, gets uh, two yards out to the 13, the tackle by Tim Foley. He'll bring up a second down at eight. A second and eight, back to and I. Here's Tarkenton, play fake, sprints out to his right, looking, fires back across the middle. It is almost intercepted, but Foreman comes out of the air with it, and he's knocked down back up the 13-yard line. Mike Colin, who was covering him on the play, had a shot at the football, and had he caught it and held on to it, there was nobody between him and the goal line. Actually, uh, Colin got his hands on the ball, went right through, then into Foreman, and uh, Colin's momentum carried him right on top of Foreman. <laughs> ball back at the 13. They did not pick up any yardage. No gain on the play. Third down and eight. Colin had nothing but daylight had he been able to hold on to that one. Ball at the Vikings, 13. Their deepest penetration to the Dolphin, five. Here is Foreman moving out to his right in motion. Tarkin and Sprint back to his right, looking to throw. Danger two by Fernandez. He's got it. just come out. Manny, I think Henry is determined to show that he should have uh, gotten that uh, foul last year. Yes, and also that he should be all pro, which we know he is anyway. I can't understand how these people who make these selections uh, could leave off a guy like Manny Fernandez on the all pro. Looks like Vern Denhardt is going to have problems all afternoon. He limped off after that series. Frank Gallagher, the right guard, was the man beaten on the play. Eyeshide stands about eight yards deep in the end zone. The line of scrimmage is back at the seven. Let's see if the Dolphins put on a big rush. Here's a snap. Getting through his ball. He gets the kick out of there. It's a good kick. Nice and high. Scott back at the Dolphins 45. Starts for the near side. Tries to get outside. At the 50. Down to the 45. And it's knocked down to the Minnesota 43-yard line. A 12-yard return by Jake. As Aishai kicking with a very poor field position is uh, the tackle made by Doug Kingsrider. A 44-yard punt that time. The Dolphins with excellent field position. Start from the Vikings 43. And a score here now. If it's a touchdown, could just about put this one on ice, even though we have a lot of time to play. Because the way the Dolphins' defense has been going, Minnesota hasn't been able to do a darn thing. The backs are kick and, uh, rather, uh, Morris and Drucker. They're split in behind. We see here's the handoff to Merck. Stutter steps, hits the left side, and gets only a yard of the 42. Jeff Seaman, the middle linebacker, makes the tackle on the play. The ball at the 42-yard line in the Vikings territory. Second down to nine. Clock moving with 12.15 to go in the third quarter. Dolphins lead 17 to nothing. Frisco switch wide to the near side. Warfield is a slot man to the near side. Kick and drunk at the back. Second down to nine. Warfield goes in motion to the far side of the field. From the Vikings 42. Counter trap over the right side. Drunker carries inside the 40 to the 38-yard line before he is contained. Gain of some four yards for Larry. Zunka has carried 17 times unofficially for 82 yards in this ball game. And the Dolphins now face a third and five situation from the Vikings 38. As far as third down conversion in this ball game, Greasy is three out of four. Let's see what he comes up with this time. Jim Mandich is in, along with uh, third and five. Jim Mandich is in as a wide receiver. Third down and five. The ball comes from the 38. Greasy back to throw, looking for Warfield, firing deep up the far side. his feet, made a tremendous catch, and he sure didn't look like he had any pull muscle on that one. The ball is down at the Vikings 11-yard line with a first down. It's a shame Paul didn't get to practice all week. He might have been in better shape for this ball game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tremendous catch, the catch of the game. Warfield now uh, has struck two for 33. That one covered 27 yards. Warfield puts to the far side. First go to the near side. Donka and Morris, the backs in behind Greasy. First down for the Vikings, 11-yard line. In the third quarter, Miami 17. Vikings nothing, trying to get another one. Here's Donk over the right side, carrying people with him down to about the 8-yard line, maybe the 7. Carl Eller, the defensive left end. 
Makes the tackle on the play. First man to make contact along with the left side linebacker Roy Winston. They mark it at the seven. Gives on to four. That'll bring up a second down and six situation for a first down. Seven yards to go for a touchdown. Dolphins out in front. Very much in control. 17 to nothing. Ten minutes to go in the third quarter. Knocking on the door once again. Out of the huddle now. Comes Greasy. Breaks off Warfield to the far side. They're moving from our left to our right. Briscoe to the near side. Moving toward the south goal to our right. Morris is a slot man to the near side of the field. Second down and six. Seven to go for a TD. Greasy back to throw. Now going to run to his right. Is he going to run with the ball? He's still looking. Gets to the five-yard line and goes out of bounds. Had he elected to run the ball, he could have scored. Roy Winston, the left side linebacker, is the man who ran him out. He was trying to find somebody open in the end zone. The Vikings defense would not permit it. And had he elected to run the ball, perhaps he could have gotten in the end zone with a running touchdown. As it is, they mark it at the five. That's a gain of two. They'll bring up a third down and four for a first down. Five yards to go for a touchdown. Greasy waits for the snap. Vikings jump. Here's the handoff to Morris. Cuts outside to the left. He's going to get the corner turn. No. And he's thrown out of bounds. The flag down at the nine-yard line. Bobby Bryant, the right cornerback, uh, diagnosed the play perfectly and rode Morris out of bounds back at about the 8 or the uh, check it, the 13 or the 14, but there's a flag on the play. And we're going to get a uh, holding call, defensive holding against Minnesota. That is an automatic first down for Miami. Now, the ball is set down, and it's marched off five yards from the point of the infraction. And uh, not half the distance, because the infraction occurred back outside the 10-yard line. At about the uh, at about the 14, so they put it down at the eight yard line. Eight and a half, we'll call it the eight. First down and goal for the Dolphins at the eight yard line in Vikings territory. Kicking Zaka split in behind. Greasy first and goal from the Vikings eight yard line, following the defensive holding call. On the snap, here's Zaka over the left side, down to the five, the four, the three, the two, and he's knocked down at the two yard line. Larry Zaka off his feet by Bobby Bryant and Paul Kraus. Let's see where they mark it. They're going to put it at the two. Zonk gets six. And it'll be second down and goal up the two-yard line. Bob Lurksema comes in, replaces Paul Kraus on the Vikings' goal line defense. Zonka has now unofficially 92 yards on the ground with 19 carries. Nine minutes, five seconds to go in this third quarter. The Dolphins with a time-consuming drive. Lead 17 and nothing, trying to get another one. The two tight ends remain up front for the blocking. Kick and Zonka, each who have scored a touchdown, are the backs. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Greasy turns around and is talking to Zonka now. Now he's back. Calls the cadence. Here's the handoff. Zonka! Touchdown! <laughs> Zonka! Hole on the right side. Big enough for a herd of hogs to go through and not touch either side. He was hit by a couple of people. Lerksema, Hilgenberg, Winston, but uh, he just squirted through into the end zone. Rick, I think that was almost a busted play, too, because it just didn't look like the precision needed, but it worked out pretty good. Well, that's what Greasy undoubtedly was talking before the ball was snapped to Zonka about. And perhaps it was a decoy. Anyway, Morrill will hold, and Yepremian will try the point. Snap, set down. The kick is up, and it is good. Dolphin football continues from Super Bowl eight to the score of Miami 24, the Vikings nothing. Rick Weaver, Henry Barrow back at Super Bowl eight. The Dolphins now out in front by one of the biggest margins in Super Bowl history, 24 to nothing with 8.44 to go. In the third quarter, that drive, 43 yards, eight plays, Zonka two-yard run, his second touchdown of the ball game. Kick has the other one. Here's Garrow's kickoff. Now the near side is Gilliam, grabs it at the five, starts for the middle, gets the block at the 10, shakes off the tackle at the 15, still looking for the hole across the 20, cuts back to his left at the 25, and stop. Just across the 25-yard line by Bob Matheson. On the Dolphins special teams. Goes well, the return of some 20 yards. This is going to mark it up the 25-yard line. Second and drops back to throw. Good protection. Now he's going to run with the ball. Gets to the 25 and falls down at the 31. Second and runs for six yards. He's been their principal weapon. They'll give him a game of six and bring up second down and four. Clock moving with 8 minutes, 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. Reed and Foreman remain the running backs. Tarkinen, second and four, drops the throw, swings it out of the backfield. Caught by Foreman, he's across the 35, up to the 40, and he's knocked down at the 41-yard line. That'll be good for a Minnesota first down. Manny Fernandez and Nick Policani make the tackle. And the, the Vikings pick up their first first down of the second half. 
First down from the Viking 41. Back in the draw play. And off. Reed hurdling tackling, bouncing off people and booms his way out to the 47-yard line. Oscar Reed, the six-year man from Colorado State, picks up six yards. And they mark the ball out at the 47. That'll bring up the second down and four. Six minutes. Clock becoming very much of a factor now, even though we're in the third quarter. All right. Back to throw, talking in, sets up, fires it out of the backfield, caught by Reed back at the Viking 40. He is caught by one leg, gets away, and is going to be ridden to the ground back at the 45-yard line. They actually wound up losing yardage on that play. A third down and five for Tarkenton. The ball at the Minnesota 46-yard line. Flat to the near side. Tarkenton elects to keep it on the ground. Oscar Reed is going to go no place. He might have gotten the yard to the 47, but that's all. As the Dolphins, no-namers, Bob Matheson again fills the hole, and again, Minnesota fails to achieve a first down. And so the punter, Mr. Eichide, will come on, and he will stand back at about the uh, 32, the line of scrimmage of 47, Scott Deep, Anderson Shallow. Here's the snap. Larry Ball comes in on him. He gets off a very poor kick off the side of his foot. Bounces now. He gets a good roll on it. The far side of the field rolls inside the 10 and takes the Dolphin bounce. And he's going to be blown dead at the 10-yard line. That was a low trajectory kick off the side of his foot, but he got a tremendous roll out of it, 45 yards. So there's a timeout on the field. Dolphin football continues from Super Bowl eight with a score. Our Dolphins 24 and the Vikings nothing. That's part of 42 yards. The Dolphins start from their 11. Reese, ready to go to work with a 24 nothing lead. Here's a handoff. Morris over the right side is contained out at the 14-yard line. Merck picks up three. He was about to break it. But uh, Eller uh, filled the hole for him. So it's a gain of three to bring up the second down and seven. Four minutes, 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. Minnesota, with one exception, has never been in this ball game. Here's a handoff. Drunk a big hole. 20, 25. All across the 25 to the 27-yard line. down for the Dolphins. Beautiful trap blocking up front again from Kutchenberg. Langer in middle. Wally Hilgenberg, the right side linebacker, makes the tackle. Drunk gets 12. Check it, 13, out to the 27-yard uh, line, and he is now 107 yards, 21 carries, and that gives Zonka a 100-yard plus ball game, and his 15th career 100-yard game, and uh, his fifth this year. Matt Pell has the record with 121 yards. Here's Gracie, the handoff, going to Zonka, and as he stuck, he is really hit at the 25. They lost yardage. And Gracie took a pretty good wallop back there also. As the Vikings were sending a lot of people, Jim Marshall made the tackle. And the ball is back at the Dolphin 25, and we have a second down and 12. Clock moving with 3 minutes, 13 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Miami is just taking the Vikings apart, 24 to nothing. All right, Warfield on the far side of the near side is Briscoe. A tremendous performance by the Dolphins offensively and defensively. Kicking Zonka to the back. Here's a handoff. Zonka threw a big hole in the middle again and booms his way out to the 30. That starts out as a counter to the right side, and then he cuts back in the secondary to his left. And this time he picks up five yards. Jeff Seaman, the middle linebacker, was waiting for it. And that'll bring up a third down and seven. Dolphins on third down conversions are four out of five. Let's see if Greasy can keep control of it with 2.25 to go. Third down and seven. They have to get the ball out to the 37. Or first down from the 30. Greasy on the draw. Hands to... Uh, Hands to Zonka again and pounds inside. Gets about three out to the 33 and that's off. So the punter, Larry Seifel, will come in for only the second time this afternoon. Seifel uh, kicked just once in the first half for 38 yards. Here's a snap. Gets a pretty good rush. Gets the kick out of there. A wobbly one off the side of his foot down the near side. Bounces at the 40 and is going to be grabbed as it started to take a Viking bounce by Tim Foley down to the Viking 43-yard line. Not a good kick at all by Larry Seiple, just 24 yards. Sarkinen has his work cut out for them with a minute and 34 to go in his third period. Vikings moving from our right to our left, start from their 43-yard line. He will go back to throw, sets up, fires across the middle. It is caught by Chuck Foreman, he is dropped at the 50-yard line. The Dolphins swarming defense led by Bob Matheson and Nick Bonacani bring him down at the 50. Second down and three. Gilliam wide to the near side. Here's the handoff to Ed Marinero now in the ball game and he tries to penetrate the right side and does down to about the 46 and that could be good enough for a first down. Fernandez and Bonacani make the tackle on the play. First down for Minnesota. 
as the ball will be marked at the uh, Miami 46 yard line. Clock moving with 30 seconds left to play in its third quarter. On the snap, talking to drops the throw, firing out to the near side, Foreman the intended receiver, and Bonacati broke that one up. As Foreman, coming out of the hook pattern, came out and curled back towards the sideline from the hash mark, and Bonacati hit him just as the ball got there, and it's incomplete. Incompletion stops the clock with eight seconds to go in the third quarter. Second down and ten. Gilliam puts to the far side. Kingsrider comes to the near side. The backs are split. Marinero and Reed. Target and drops the throw. Sets up. He has time. He's going he's to run with the ball. Now he fires it. It is caught at the Dolphins 40. And coming back, the tackle. John Gilliam is tackled, but uh, that is not going to be enough for a first down. Tim Foley is the man who hit him. The gun sounds simultaneous. Split time was simultaneously, and that ends the... That ends the time for the third period. Golf and football action will continue from Houston, Texas, and Super Bowl eight with a score at the end of three. Miami 24, the Vikings nothing. Better open the fourth quarter from the Dolphins 44. Third and two across the middle. Here's the catch, the great catch. Completed pass down at the 30, the 29-yard line by Stu Royce, the tight end. Boy, this guy is some kind of a receiver. He has made three fine receptions this afternoon. Mike Cullen gets credit for the tackles, but not before the Vikings pick up a first down at the uh, Dolphins. 29. Lash and Gilliam now are the wide receivers. Here's the snap. Tarkenton looking for the near side. Throws it. It is caught by Gilliam and he runs it out. He is run out, rather, at the 20-yard line by Tim Foley. So they pick up uh, some nine yards. It'll bring a second down and one. We've just started the final period. The Dolphins en route to becoming what has to be at call now the greatest team in professional football history with uh, their second consecutive Super Bowl victory. The only team to appear here three years in a row. A second down and one for the Vikings. Back to throw, tucking it. He's firing out for the sideline. Overthrown, intended for Lash at the 10, incomplete. He was just sliding out toward the far side. That'll bring up a third down and one for the first down from the Dolphins 20-yard line. Tarkenton on the snap, hands off over the right side, down to the 15, is Oscar Reed inside the 15, he's more than got the first down, knocked down at the Miami 13-yard line. They went outside that time, Jake Scott brought him down to achieve the first down, the ball is at the Dolphins 13. All right, Lash looks to the far side, Gilliam comes to the near side, the backs are Marinero, number 49, and Reed 32. Tarkenton from the Dolphins 13, drops back to throw, firing out to the far corner, it is caught inside the five and out of bounds at about the four-yard line. Here's Jim Lash. Curtis Johnson ran him out. And so the Minnesota Vikings are one yard away from a first down and now have achieved their deepest penetration of this ball game. Down to the Dolphins four. Second down and a yard. Four yards to go for a CD. Vikings trail 24-0. 13-29 to go in this ball game. Parkinson sets his ball club. Spinning out to the right to the pass. He's going to run with the ball. He's down to the two. The one. He carries in. For the touchdown. Tarkin it scores. On the play fake, he just spread it out. On the option pass uh, or run football. He hit, was hit by Jake Scott that ran over him. And gets into the end zone. And so the Vikings behind King's Ladder and Goodrum blocking for Tarkin. Get into the end zone for their first score of the afternoon with 13.25 left to play. And the Dolphins lead now. Cut to 24-6. Paul Krause. Will hold and uh, Fred Cox, who not had too much to do this afternoon, will try the point from placement. Waiting for the snap, set down, the kick is up, and it is good. So, Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score, 24-7, to Miami out in front. Rick Weaver, Henry Barrow back at Super Bowl eight in Houston, Texas. The Dolphins have permitted their first score of the afternoon, 13-25 to go. That drive, 57 yards, 10 plays. Parkin and scored on a four-yard run. Cox will kick off to either Mercury Morris or Jake Scott. 24 to 7. Miami out in front. 13-25 to go. Uh, onside. Scribber touches one of the Dolphins. It's recovered by the Vikings at the Miami 49-yard line. The man whom it touched trying to get out of the way of it. Kerry Brown is the man who recovered it. And so the Vikings off the onside kick strategy come up with a football. Now wait a minute. We're going to get an offside on the kickoff call against Minnesota, and it will not go. The Dolphins, of course, will accept the penalty. You cannot be out in front of the kicker, and somebody was, so they're going to lose possession of the ball. Why? I tell you, when you got it going for you, 
it goes your way all the time. But the flag was thrown, and Minnesota is penalized for offsides on the kick. They lose possession of the ball at the Dolphins 49. They get a five-yard penalty out of it. So they'll kick off again from their 35. Terry Brown had recovered that onside kick after a touch to Dolphin, but the uh, Vikings were detected offside. So they lose the field position. They lose the recovery and are penalized five yards. Scott and Morris are back deep. Here's the low squibber. It squirts through, picked up by Scott at the 18 to the 20, 25 to the 30, cut to the near side. He is still going, and it gets out to the 34 before he almost is decapitated. Minnesota has to be demoralized off that particular situation. Penalties have really hurt them this afternoon. 24-7, Dolphins lead 13-10 to go. Miami moving from our right to our left towards the north end of the field on the first down from the Dolphins 34. Briscoe and Warfield both put to the near side. Morris and Zonk at the back. In behind, Greasy, here's the handoff to Zonk. Hits the middle and digs and drives his way out to about the 37-yard line. A three-yard pickup for Zonka, and he is getting close to an individual single-game rushing record. Second and seven, Dolphins from their 37-yard line. Here comes Briscoe in motion to the near side. Here's the handoff to Morris, tries to get outside of the right. He is caught and thrown for a loss. The 35 by left side linebacker Roy Winston. A loss of two, so it brings up a third down and nine. 12 10 to go. Kick and Zonka out of the back. Warfield spreads to the near side of the far side is Briscoe. This is a big play here for Greasy from the Dolphins 35. He drops back to throw. Now he's going to run with the ball at the 35 to the 40, and he did not make enough yards for the first down. He gets out to the 40-yard line, and so the Dolphins will have to punt. Line of scrimmage, the Miami 40, Stiple. will stand back at the 25, and Bobby Bryant is the deep man back at the Minnesota 20. 11 minutes and 9 seconds to go. Dolphins lead 24 to 7. A good punt here by Stiple is absolutely essential. Ready to go. Here's a snap. They put on a good rush. He drills up you. three-yard line, a putt of some 57 yards by Larry Seipel, and he got the sideward bounce that he needs. <laughs> what did you say, Rick? When things are going your way, when they go your way, they go all the way good. And uh, Colin downfield on the coverage down at three. Timeout on the field, off and football action continues. In one minute, the score Miami 24, the Vikings 7. Parker and back to throw on first down in the end zone. Fires it out. Hook pattern at the 10. Caught by Marinello. Spinning off tacklers and gets out to about the 15 for a first down. First down, Vikings from their 15. Tarkin is going to have to put it up. Is going again in the air. The pass across the middle incomplete. At the 35. On the slant across the middle. 10 minutes, 8 seconds to go. Dolphins lead 24 to 7. Dolphins offense and defensive control the situation. That offensive line, another great ball game this afternoon. Second down and 10 from the 15. Here's a handoff drop by Reed. Cuts back to his right. Good yardage across the 20. Gets out to close to the 25. Nine yards as they mark it at the 24. And that'll bring up a third down and one. Now, talking in this afternoon on uh, third down conversion is six out of 11. Tarkenton ready to go to work. Has the two tight ends up there. On the snap, here's the handoff. Over the right side, Reed falls forward for a first down. Out to the 26. He didn't get much, but he got enough. Out to the Vikings, 26. Bona County on the tackle. Dolphins' uh, game plan now has to be to, uh, you know, keep the ball, make them put the ball up in the air and uh, consume time. This is one thing that Tarkenton does not want to do is keep the ball on the ground. He's got to score quick. Tarkin and first down, back to throw, and the pocket fires, it is dropped at the 31-yard line. The man for whom it was intended was Oscar Reed out of the backfield, but uh, Doug Swift covered on the play. The ball at the 26 in Viking territory, second and 10. Tarkin a deep drop, sets up, fires that book pattern out of the backfield again. Brown has it across the 30. They mark it at the, it's closer to the 35, we'll call it the 35-yard line. A third down and one, eight minutes, 20 Five seconds to play before Super Bowl eight is history. Here's the handoff. Brown over the left side. He runs into a stone wall, but his penetration, I believe, got enough for a first down. That is good enough for a first down, they say. So the ball is at the Vikings 37-yard line. Tarkin in, ready to go to work. Time running out. 7.40 to go. He drops deep. Back to throw. He fires out. It is 
Interference to call on, the, on uh, Miami. He was off. He was hit by Tim Foley before uh, the receiver could catch the pass. Ed Marinero was the man for whom it was intended. Had hooked out of the backfield, and Marinero was waiting for the ball, and Foley creamed him. So the official right on top of the play calls pass interference. That is uh, an automatic first down for the uh, Vikings out at their 41-yard line. Clock is stopped on the penalty with 7.36 to go. That, believe it or not, is the first penalty of the ball game against the Dolphins. The Dolphins have played almost an arrowless game. First down for Minnesota. At their 41. A slot to the near side. Lash and Gilliam with the wide men. Back to throw. Tarkin in. Throws it over the outstretched hands of Matheson to Marinero, the 45 of the 50, down to the 40, taking off tacklers, and somebody better contain him inside the 35 to the 32 yard line. Curtis Johnson had him, but was being carried along the field and hanging on for dear life. Now the officials step in and break up an altercation. Curtis Johnson uh, was the man who made the tackle and was also involved in the melee. Marinero picks up 25 yards, and just a great effort on his part. And gives Minnesota excellent field position at the Dolphins 32. Six minutes, 56 seconds to go. 24-7, Dolphins lead. Vikings with a serious threat. Back to throw, talking it. Has time. Now he's firing deep down the far side. It is knocked down in the end zone. It was intended for a lash. Down deep in the corner of the end zone. Scott was the man back covering on the play. Uh, second down and 10. As the clock is stopped at 6.43 to go, the ball at the Miami 32-yard line. All right, the uh, Miami fans chanting defense, defense. Second down and 10. Carol Dale in there. Ball at the Dolphins 32. Back to throw, talking it. Has all day. He fires across the middle. It is incomplete. Down at the uh, goal line. That brings up a third down and 10. And this could be the story of the ball game right here. Third down and 10 for the Vikings. The ball at the Dolphins 32-yard line. The backs are Marinero and Brown. Second and drops the throw. He has time again. He is firing across the middle. It is intercepted by the Dolphins. Back in the end zone. Out to the 45. Curtis Johnson to the 10-yard to the, uh, line. Uh, I beg your pardon, the 5 out to the 10. Curtis Johnson picked it off on a great play back at the goal line. It was intended for Lash. And he runs it back out across the 5 out to the 10-yard line. So that could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. With 624 to go. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score, Miami 24, the Vikings 7. For your camera, radio, cassette player, get the golden power cell. The long life alkaline power cell from EverReady. Drunk out the first play from scrimmage, runs the ball out. Jim Marshall makes the tackle and uh, they mark it out at the 17. Larry now has picked up a new individual single-game rushing record for a Super Bowl game. We have him unofficially with 122 yards, 26 carries, and that should break Matt Snell's whole record of 121, but that's unofficial. A second and three for the Dolphins following Curtis Johnson's interception of a Fran talking in pass. Here's the handoff. Drunk and now has the record as he bounces out across the left side, across the 20. He gets out to the 22, and that should be good enough and is for a Miami first down. The clock shows five minutes and 33 seconds left to play. The Dolphins have this one wrapped up. Seaman and Hilgenberg make the tackle on that last play. And the ball at the Miami 22. Zonka has established a new those are the official totals just announced on the PA system. The Dolphins have really handled this Viking team. Great preparation, a great coaching win. The ball, the Miami 22, first down with five minutes to go. There's the handoff to kick over the left side out to about the 23. The ball is at the 22, no gain on the last play. Second down and 10, clock moving, 4.33 to go. Dolphins scored once in the second half, so the Vikings, Miami has it won, 24 to 7. Unless the, the ground open up and swallows Miami's team. Here's the handoff to Zonka over the right side, and he gets out to about the 25. And we cannot say enough about the job that the Miami offensive line has done in handling this fearsome foursome. The purple people leaders have been toothless this afternoon. Four minutes to go. Dolphins with a 24-7 lead. Third down, and we'll call it eight. The ball at the 24-yard line in Dolphins territory. 
Three minutes, 48 seconds to go. Greasy would like to keep control of this football. Warfield on the near side. Bush go off to the far side. The backs kicking Zucker in and I. Here's the handoff. Zucker on the trap. Hits the middle and gets to the 25. There is a flag thrown. A little rough stuff, I believe, is going to be called on Alan Page. The Dolphins becoming incensed. The uh, Vikings continuously called for penalties once. It really hurt him here in the second half. Page is the man who it was, in call, it was called on because he is arguing for the most violently with the referee. The flag went down immediately as Zonka appeared to be roughed up from here. Well, I haven't marched it off yet. Three minutes and 33 seconds to go. The major infraction, the cheap shot as one of the fans hollers up from down below. A personal foul against the Vikings. They have been assessed six penalties unofficially for 62 yards. The most uh, penalized team in the NFL this year. Howard Trulli has come in. Bush goes out at a wide receiver. The Dolphins pick up a first down off that personal foul penalty against the Vikings at the Miami 40. Miami has Super Bowl eight in its hip pocket. The only team uh, since the Green Bay Packers to have won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. The only team to have come three times and to have won two out of three. First down Miami from the 40-yard line. The handoff, Dunker through a hole the left side. Gets out to the 45-yard line. Jim Marshall makes the tackle on the play. We have really had a hard-hitting, brutal ball game. The uh, Vikings have been affected, detected in several times this afternoon. With the cheap shot, Mandy is in along with Fleming. For the tight end, Bully is out. Uh, check it, he stays in. And Mandich and Fleming are in. Warfield is out. The ball is at the uh, Miami 45, a second down at five. Kick and Zucker in the back. Three minutes to go in this contest. The Dolphins have won Super Bowl eight. They'll be home tomorrow somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, four o'clock. Here is kick. Throw a hole on the right side. Still digging and driving for yardage. Gets out to about the 49. It'll be about two of what they need for a first down, but there's another flag down, apparently, on the play. The attendance today, 68,142, 4,000, almost 4,500 no-shows. Now, let's see what the uh, infraction is going to be all about. The flag was dropped. Minnesota unofficially with uh, six penalties, 62 yards, and they have had some crucial situations. This time, it's going to be against uh, Miami, apparently. The clock is stopped with 2.45 to go. Personal foul against the Dolphins, so <laughs> they're going to take it all out. To, now, wait a minute. They call personal fouls on both teams. So it's an offsetting double foul, and they'll run the play again. I was just wondering how long it was going to be before somebody on our side would retaliate, but uh, that time it's against both teams. Zonka and Kick remain in the backs. Mandich and Fleming are the tight ends. Now they're going to measure. Greasy has requested a measurement to find out just exactly how much yardage he needs. The clock shows 245. The Dolphins get the benefit. Of, it was not a double foul. The penalty against Minnesota was called after the play. And so the ball is remarked at the 50-yard line. That's uh, what it was. And uh, it was called against Minnesota after the play, which allows the Dolphins a third down and less than, yardage, less than a yard situation at the 50-yard line. The penalty against Minnesota again hurts them. From the 50, third down, less than a yard. The Dolphins set, greasy, and somebody jumps from the Vikings offside. Another flag goes down. Well, this has turned into uh, a penalty thrown contest. And let's see who this one is going to be called against. Offside against Minnesota. It'll get Miami a first down. And we'll put the ball at the Minnesota 45-yard line. If they want to uh, start hitting people and jumping around too soon, all Greasy has to do is change his pace. And that time it worked. He lured him offside. Page and Eller, the two monsters up on that front four with the fellows offside. Ball at the 45-yard line in Minnesota territory. Clock is still stopped on the penalty with 2.45 to go. Kick and Zonka on the running back. Television will not be able to get into the locker rooms because of the smallness of the locker room. So we'll be in there. Here's the handoff, going to kick over the left side, and he gets about a yard to the 44-yard line. Hitting after the whistle, and a little kicking going on down on the field. Turned into a nasty ball game. Gary Larson is the fellow who makes the tackle. But yet, after it's over, and uh, everything has been settled as to who has the better team, uh, they'll shake hands. Two minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the contest. The Dolphins have won Super Bowl eight. 
There never was too much doubt about it. 24 to 7. Here's the score now with coming up to the uh, two-minute warning. The offense have a second down and nine at the Minnesota 44-yard line. Here's the handoff. Gronk a big hole across the 40, down to the 37, and he uh, is going to be close to a first down. Oh, well, let's double-check that. He's going to be a couple yards away. They mark it at the 38-yard line. That's the uh, two-minute warning. Golf and football will continue in one minute. The score, Miami 24, the Vikings 7. He's now carried 31 times for 141 yards. So Zonk wins the sports car. It'll be a third down and a long shoot for a Miami first down. The ball just inside the Vikings 38-yard line with a minute and 58 seconds left to play in the ball game. The Dolphins, most importantly, however, have won Super Bowl eight and have achieved uh, just a record that may never be broken. Trilly uh, comes in motion to the near side. The handoff goes to Zonka, and he keeps patting that uh, yardage mark as he hits it across the right side, gets down to about the 35. Playing ball control, just keeping playing keep away. 125 left to go. Lertzema is in on defense. Dolphins lead 24 to 7. The ball at the Vikings, 35. Two tight ends are up front. Greasy will wait for the snap. Kick and Zonka are the running backs. And off, Zonka has got the first down across the right side, gets to the 34, maybe the 33 yard line. And so, Minnesota may never get their hands back on the football. Zonka, who will come out. Again, close by the player, 33 carries, 146 yards, two touchdowns. So the Zonka, the game's most viable player. And the handkerchiefs are out in that. First down for Miami at the 34 in Vikings territory. 35 seconds left to play. 24 to 7. Here's the handoff to kick through a hole on the right side. Cuts back to his left. Gets inside the 30 down to about the 28-yard line. Much in command of the Dolphins for the entire ball game. They just rammed it right down the Vikings' throat. The players are leaving the field with three seconds, two seconds, one second. And the Dolphins again for the second straight year are the world champions just taking the Vikings apart. The final score... Miami 24, Minnesota 7. I'd just like to say a couple of things about our football team. In the four years that I've been down to Miami, every year this team has gotten a little bit better. The first year we got to the playoffs and got beaten in the playoffs. The next year we made it to the Super Bowl. But we were frustrated and we got beaten in the Super Bowl. And then last year, 17-0, the Super Bowl, everything else. And I didn't think that anything else could ever be any greater than that. But this year, even though we lost two ball games, for this team to be able to go back to back, and there's only one other team that ever did that, Bart, the old pack. And uh, I just, I feel so proud of this team because I think, I, again, it's gone one step beyond what it did last year. 21 first downs to the uh, Minnesota Vikings, 14. The net rushing yardage, Minnesota was held to 72 on the ground and 196 for Miami. The Dolphins wind up with 259 yards total offense to 238 for the Vikings. Uh, Don Schiller is, uh, in my opinion, the uh, perhaps the greatest coach who ever lived. The final again, 24 to 7. We'll see you tomorrow. A pleasant good evening.